Yeah, baby. Where are you? Hey. Hey, Jim. Come out of there. Oh. All right. <laughs> Guess what's still laying there behind me? The X5. I keep I keep thinking that tomorrow me is going to do it. Maybe even day after tomorrow me. But so far that hasn't really worked out. So today me is going to have to put this car back together. That's all there is to it. Yes, it's the dreaded water pump. And so I took my uh, bolts out of here and used them to attach the brand new thermostat to my brand new water pump. And you see... When you turn this water pump, hear that? That's right, nothing. <laughs> now, when we take this one, keep that from falling, we take this one and turn it, listen to this. That's not supposed to do that. This one, new one. nothing <laughs> okay so I've got a new rubber gasket here so I'm going to put the new rubber gasket and the new one and then I still have to pull out that pipe down there that rubber hose it's the the larger one on the, the right there with the uh, white interior so I'm going to pull that out and put in a new one. This is my nice new one. And before I try to put it in, I'm going to get a little bit of my fresh coolant and run it around the edge here. And uh, that way it should lubricate it a little bit without contaminating anything. And I'll slip it in and then before I actually fit the new water pump, which this one will end up going on like that, I will do the same thing. I will put a little bit of uh, fresh coolant to lubricate it so it all slips together nice and easy. But there's our new water line. It's official. I've started to put it back together. Yay! So I uh, put in that new little short hose and I have the all, whole new water pump assembly all together and I just fitted the new rubber gasket and I'm going to put the new water pump on right now because I've cleaned the uh, mating surfaces up and so I'm going to put it on and hand start all of the bolts making sure that I put the long one in the correct position and then we'll start struggling with trying to put that stupid uh, harmonic balancer uh, crank pulley back on. I hope that's not a huge struggle. We'll see. Okay, all set to go in, baby. I got my uh, bolts right here. Just my little wrenches and goodies. So this should go on there without too much trouble because uh everything's cleaned up and everything's out of the way so this should go back together a lot faster than it came apart all right well the new water pump is in and it wasn't too hard the only thing i'd say is just be sure and lubricate that new connecting hose and then on your new water pump there's a second smaller pipe there's a uh, O-ring inside the actual water pump housing. And you got to lubricate that a little bit and make sure that this whole thing is going to slide together. And make sure that this big pipe, and when it's replaced, has to be completely seated into the uh, uh, engine before you can try putting the water pump on it because it all fits real tight. And uh, But once you got all that worked out, I can reach all the bolts relatively easily. I kept the old one up here so I could find exactly where they were without having to use a mirror. And now I'm going to try to remount the 
crank pulley. Let's see how that goes. The whole putting in the water pump thing, it actually only took about a half an hour. <laughs> you know what I said about half an hour. That's just how long it actually took to install it once I had everything else prepared for it. So, of course, I'm several days into this project now. And this project should probably only take a couple hours. It's only taking this long because I'm procrastinating. And, uh, you know, I got, I got the big pulley back on. <laughs> it was a pain. It took about, uh, gosh, I think I worked on it for about two hours. It's really hard for me to reach. I have to lay up on the top and reach way down in there. And there's just a little bit of space between the fan and the pulley. And let me show you. So when I was going to put the uh, crank pulley here back on, this little jewel, it has eight bolts that hold it in place, as we already know. And you saw in the last video where I took off that metal ring. It's like a big washer with the eight holes. Well, there's a little pin on the actual pulley. There's a ninth hole and that little pin lines up. It lines up with all the other holes, so you can have the pulley anywhere, and that pin is happy to go into any of the bolt holes, but then none of your bolts actually line up with the actual bolt holes they need to line up with. So you have to make sure that that one little tiny pin, so I, I actually started this at one point and had to take it back off and look in there with my mirror to see that the pin was actually in its correct hole and not in one of the adjacent bolt holes. Once I got that lined up, I was able to start my first couple of bolts and then went around and torqued them down in a kind of a star pattern to make it nice and easy and even. And uh, it seems to be in there. So now I'm going to try to put the pulley back on the water pump here and then connect back up all this stuff. And we should be able to be adding some coolant to this thing. Maybe before it gets dark? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I'm trying to finish this today so my beautiful wife Shannon can drive the X5 tomorrow. Ah, damn it. Bad news. Yeah, not going to be able to finish this today. The stupid uh, tensioner for the water pump belt is broken. Look, belt tensioner, hmm, that's not good. It's cracked all the way down the side and then a chunk of it's missing off of here, so shit. So I'm going to have to stop. You know, I really wanted to finish this tonight. And I really wanted to finish this like a month ago and I really wanted to finish the Z4 like a year ago and the 650 needs some work. <laughs> and I want to build a camper for my truck so I can go camping with my beautiful wife. <sighs> hey, a bunch of old worn out German cars. What could go wrong? There you have it. Uh, we'll pick this up again later. Sorry, I keep trying to finish it, but thanks for watching.